Yoast SEO tutorial. How to get started with Yoast SEO. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys all about the Yoast SEO plugin, how to get started and boost your SEO with Yoast. So let's get into it. Now, building a WordPress website can be pretty difficult on its own. And then having to manage things like building your actual SEO can be even more difficult than building the actual website because when you're getting started on WordPress and you're someone that hasn't built a website before, your website is going to be a very, very large task for you. However, you can simplify a very large chunk of that, which is building your SEO with Yoast. So this can help you in a lot of issues and you can help better rank your pages and your website on search engines. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you're on your WordPress dashboard, you're going to scroll to the bottom left and in your panel, you will have your plugins. So just hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new. Now, once you click on add new, you're going to click on the right search bar and you're just going to search for Yoast. And I'm just searching for Yoast over here. And once you search for Yoast, you will have Yoast SEO over here. So you're just going to click on that. And this is going to be the plugin you will see. Now, once you see this plugin, you're going to click on install now over here. And this is the one that you want. Now, once you click on install in a couple of seconds, it will ask you to activate. So you're just going to click on activate over here. And once you click on activate, you can get started with setting up Yoast. So as you guys can see, this is the complete installation process. Now, once we have installed the plugin, we have to configure it. So to get started with that, you're going to click on start first time configuration over here. Now, after that, you will see your dashboard and first time configuration. Now, if you scroll down over here, you will see your SEO data optimization. So you can get started with building your SEO data optimization simply by clicking on continue. And then after that, you will have your site representation. So if you represent a organization or a person, then you have your website name, organization name and your logo. Now I'm going to fill out our logo over here. Let's take this one as an example. And then we're going to click on save and continue. Then you're going to link all of your social profiles. If you don't have any linking to your business, you can skip those as well. So after you have linked your social profiles, you can go into the next step, which is going to be your personal preferences. So whether or not you want to track your site data or if you will allow them to track your site data or not, I like to let this be allowed simply because it just helps me. You know, it helps the tool become better. And when the tool is better, I get a better result from the tool. Now, after that, you can go on ahead and subscribe to their email letter, but I'm just going to click on save and continue. And then just like that, you can finish your configuration. So now once you have completed this, you are going to be able to access your Yoast SEO. Now on the left side of your screen, you can see your Yoast SEO. Currently, you guys can see we don't have any serious SEO issues. And then you have your Yoast SEO on the top left. Now over here, if you take a look at the top left over here, you will see your settings, general integrations, tool, academy, and more. Now you can find the same things on the left toolbar as well. So you can go into settings over here and then you can get started with your SEO analysis. You have content types, categories and tags, and then advanced feature as well. So crawl optimization is one of the most essential features in SEO that a lot of people skip over because they're so focused on keywords that they don't realize that there is a lot more to SEO. And crawl optimization is when a website is easy to navigate on. So if one person is going from your shop page to your blog page to the product page, it should be easy for them to do so. so you can click on crawl optimization and take a look at the unwanted metadata that you might have, which you can also remove from here. This includes REST API links, uh, WLW links, OEmbed links, generator tags, and more. Now, after this, you can click on save changes on the bottom. And let's go into our basic site features first. So first off, we have our SEO analysis and we also have our readability analysis. Then you will also have your inclusive language analysis. So whether or not if you are translating your languages on your WordPress site, you can enable this feature as well to take a look at those as well. And then you will also have some basic insights. Now, after that, you have your site structure tools, which include your text link counter and your cornerstone counter. And then you also have social sharing as well as basic tools, such as your admin bar tools. 
Now, after this, after you have your basic site features, you can go into site basics and edit any of your basic site preferences. Then you have your site representation as well as connections. Now, after that, you have your content type. So let's take a look over here. Let's say our content type is a site title, then page separator, and then tagline. Then you will have your social media appearance as well as meta description. Then you also have your social descriptions that you can add. Adding these meta descriptions and social descriptions can help boost your SEO as well. Then in terms of your pages, landing pages, you will see how your pages should look like whenever they are shown in search engines. So I maybe want my title, paid, separator, site title. And let's say I also want to include clothing in one of the items. So I can include variables like this and click on save changes. And these variables will be added. So if I search for the title over here like this, you will be able to see, you know, multiple different things show up. And these are what you are customizing with Yoast SEO. Now, going back to our WordPress dashboard, we also have other features where you can optimize your categories as well as product and shipping product classes as well. So if you take a look at this, you will see how your products are going to appear. And this is not going to be applicable to those who are not selling on WordPress. However, if you are building a store on WordPress, then it's essential that you do product and category optimization as well. Now, after that, you have breadcrumbs. Now, what is going to be a breadcrumb and what is going to be the appearance of your breadcrumbs so you will see breadcrumbs are basically anchor texts and these will show up in your seo listings or your listings in the form of seo but you will see your prefix for the searched page breadcrumbs prefix for archive breadcrumbs your prefix for the breadcrumb path you have your anchor text for the home page then you have the 404 page and you can see over here that you can make the last page bold. Then you have your post types as well. So let's say I want to add breadcrumbs for those as well. And for that, I want to lead them to product categories. And then you also have them for taxonomies as well. But I'm just going to click on save changes over here. And this will boost the overall usability of your website. Then you also have author archives as well as date archives, format archives, special pages, media pages, and RSS. Now, once you have set up your basic settings for Yoast SEO, you can get started with actually whenever you're building a new page, you can get started with setting up Yoast SEO. So let's say I build a new page over here. If I go into my pages section or just going into my templates that I'm using, so in our pages, let's say I go into pages and I want to go on ahead and build a new page. So let's say this is going to be our new home page or a, just a basic new page. I'll edit the sample page over here. And now you can make any kind of change to your sample page and you will see on the left side, you will have a Yoast SEO. You guys can see currently this page has bad SEO and bad readability. You will see you have not enough content. Please add some content to get a good analysis. Then you have focus key phrases that you can add. So you can add a key phrase that you will get referred to with other key phrases as well. This is going to be your mobile result search appearance, and this is going to be your desktop result. Then you will have your SEO title, the slug, as well as your SEO analysis. You can see the detailed SEO analysis where you have your previous words added. So not all words from your key phrase appear in the SEO title. So you can always add your SEO title as well. So in this way, step by step from each page, you can get a detailed analysis and then you can go on ahead and optimize your content accordingly. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with Yoast SEO. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comments box down below i would love to help you guys out now just as a final tip if you don't want to go individually on each page you can see on the right side in your pages you will see three different columns that were not there previously and these are going to be the yoast seo plugin columns which includes your readability score 
as well as your number of outgoing links, which is going to be your backlinks and having backlinks is very important. Now, this can backlinks are usually when you have someone else linking to your website or, you know, one of your pages linking to another one of your own pages. So you need to make sure you have multiple pages like that. And then you have your general SEO score added for each page and you can optimize it until all of them are green and your website is completely optimized. So I hope you guys found it helpful and I will catch you in the next video.